This morning, Iran is claiming responsibility for firing a dozen missiles at military bases in Iraq. Iranian leaders saying there will be more attacks if the U.S. responds to these attacks. Our newest teammate, Mandy Knoll, as reaction right now from our local leaders. Good morning, Mandy. Good morning, guys. Senator John Bozeman says he's closely monitoring this situation. President Trump is expected to speak officially sometime later this morning. Last night, as word spread about the attacks, the president took to Twitter, as he often does, saying all is well. But lawmakers are split on what these new airstrikes mean for our safety in our country. You can see this video of, from last night. Some of those missiles were launched into the air. That's what it's showing here. According to the Pentagon, they were launched from Iran, aimed at two air bases in western and northern Iraq. The bases host U.S. and coalition forces assigned to fighting the Islamic State. So far, there's been no official word of any casualties. The United States has about 5,000 military personnel there in Iraq. A former ambassador says he hopes the White House shows wisdom in the wake of the missile attack. Now, Senator John Bozeman sent out a tweet after the news came out last night. He says, I am closely monitoring the situation as Iran Iran continues to escalate its aggression against the U.S. and our allies, praying for our brave service members and those of our, our allies in harm's way as this unfolds. Senators on both sides of the aisle reacting to the news of the attack. Republicans, of course, showing support for the president. They say the attack is an example of Iran's terrorism. Democrats, meanwhile, call for the president to de-escalate the situation before it leads to war in the Middle East. Now, the attack was launched just hours after the funeral for Qasim Soleimani, Iran's top military commander who was killed last week in a U.S. drone strike. U.S. Defense Secretary Mark Esper said this week the U.S. is looking to settle things diplomatically with Iran.